Hi guys, you are here with me, Professor Girish Kukreja, uh, with exploring uh, this world of microbiology. Now we know that in science, most of the things, rather all of the things in science, they happen for the first time and then they continued thereafter. So let us have an overview of some historical events which happened in the field of uh, microbiology. Uh, the things which happened for the first time, let's uh, name them, let's know about them, let's know about the discoverers of uh, these uh, very first things in microbiology. So the first one here, it goes that name the first antibiotic that was discovered. Yes, now these uh, bullets or these drugs uh, which have been curing us from various infectious diseases um, through decades, right, these antibiotics, the very first antibiotic which uh, made its appearance, right, like a debut in a movie, we say, so when so one uh, hero he gives an entry, then others they follow and he also continues. So the first antibiotic that was discovered was penicillin, right, so this particular antibiotic, a serendipitous discovery in science. Now most of the uh, discoveries, they happen in science serendipitously. But then, obviously, as Louis Parcher had rightly told, that luck, it favours only the prepared mind. So, it was the discovery of penicillin by Alexander Fleming in the 1928s. This particular Alexander Fleming, he was the person who is credited for the discovery of this first antibiotic penicillin. Stay tuned with us for uh, more stories of how it was discovered and how it all went around, uh, how this changed the entire field of medical microbiology. The first vaccine, which you remember, nowadays we are talking too much about vaccines, but it started long back in 1600s. The first vaccine which was discovered was that against the smallpox, the recorded ones. On this particular smallpox, the person to be credited for this is uh, Dr. Edward Jenner. So the first person to what you call as introduce this concept of vaccination to eradicate the smallpox. We all know the popular story of cowpox, smallpox uh, related to Edward Jenner. So the first vaccine, it was a smallpox. The first chemotherapeutic agent, the chemicals uh, used to treat a particular disease. The concept of uh, the father of chemotherapy, uh, Sir Paul uh, Lich. Now he is credited for discovering the first chemotherapeutic agent uh, that is your salvarsan. It was an arsenic containing compound which was used to treat syphilis. So development of a particular chemical agent which could uh, specifically uh, what you call as uh, kill the pathogen without harming the what you call as the host. So the first ever it was this salvarsan which was an arsenic uh, containing compound. So no doubt uh, his Japanese assistant Hata, he assisted him, uh, the credit it is to Paul Arlish, the father of chemotherapy. Uh, the first one to coin this particular term cell from where the biology begins uh, we call uh, that is your uh, Robert Hooke. So Robert Hooke in his uh, famous book called as Micrographia which was the uh, first official publication of the Royal Society of London. Uh, in this particular book he coined this particular term cell. Uh, he actually observed the cock cells and it looked like the uh, what you call as cells where the monks they used to live and therefore he coined this particular term a cell. Uh, who was the one to observe the live microorganisms? Yes, uh, whom we also sometimes refer to as the father of microbiology who introduced us to this entire unseen world of uh, microbes that is none other than your Louis Hooke. So, Anthony Van uh, Louis Hooke, the first person to observe live microbes. Though that time we did not know that we are supposed to call them microorganisms or so. Uh, since they were moving from here and there, that time we had only two, one were plants and other were animals. So he called them as animacules and reported all his uh, discoveries to the Royal Society uh, of London. So let us, uh, what you call is not discuss much, we will be discussing this in our upcoming videos. The first virus to be discovered, uh, since we are living in a pandemic, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the first virus which came up was your TMV, the tobacco mosaic virus. Uh, people credited for this is your Dmitry Ivanovsky. Uh, first time it was reported that this tobacco mosaic disease is contagious by Adolf Mayer. Uh, experiments were done by Dmitry Ivanovsky, confirmed by Martis Bayer and Chamberlain also provided bacteriological filters for this. So these people are credited for discovery of this first virus that is your tobacco mosaic virus. Uh, the father of antiseptic surgery uh, is your Joseph Lister. 
So surgeries were not the same uh, like uh, we observe today. Uh, they were all uh, messed up. So uh, to reduce the chance of infections during surgery, uh, it was this Joseph Lister who introduced this concept of Listerism, popularly called as uh, the concept of antiseptic surgery. The first ever antiseptic used is your phenol, was your phenol, or we also popularly refer to as your carbolic acid. So the first antiseptic to uh, show its appearance was your phenol or carbolic acid with successful results in the surgeries performed by Sir Joseph Lister. Stay tuned with us for more in microbiology and also interesting stories related to all these discoveries. Thank you.